spells. Idle labor. Bam a lamb. Hi everyone. Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. Feeling good today. Feeling a little tired, but still feeling like uh, the needle drop is doing well because you guys are watching and commenting and supporting and making me feel awesome. It's, it's, it's review time. The album is Idle Labor. The band is Craft Spells. This is their debut LP, so there's not a ton of backstory to report on this thing as a project. Nowadays, underground music is so entrenched in revivalism, it's kind of difficult to tell what is new and what is old. And I'm starting to get to a point where I don't care anymore, as long as I can separate the artist from the people they or he or she are is influenced by, then I don't have a problem. The decade this LP falls into for me is the 80s. It's the kind of lovesick drum machine and synthesizer pop that people most associate with new wave. Imagine, if you will, uh, if New Order had been able to maintain that darker, messier atmosphere they had on movement, or they even had when they were still Joy Division, but were able to take that sound and maintain it up until the point when they started creating the really, really catchy, instantaneous material they were writing on Power, Corruption, and Lies. I think the flowers here are more than a coincidence, too. Idle Labor is a bedroom record, and I'm sure a lot of reviews will attribute the retro sound on this LP to that. But seriously, people send me their bedroom recorded music all the time, and most of it does not sound like this. The instrumentation, pretty much everything, is very much on tempo, not a lot of audible production flaws or anything like that. Very plain guitar strumming, lead guitars and synthesizers that just sparkle with delay and reverb, very crisp, thin, brittle drums that don't have a lot of punch to them, and tom fills that kind of remind me of uh, Phil Collins' In the Air Tonight, but in a good way. I actually do like that song. So there are all these elements of new waves strewn about this album, but there is something very 2011 about it. I downplayed this at the beginning of the review, but the self-recorded feel of this LP does have a noticeable impact on the way this album sounds, for sure. Plus, this thing has been put out on captured tracks. Other artists on this label include Minx, Wild Nothing, Blank Dogs, The Beats. It's just home to a lot of music that finds power in muddy, lo-fi recording qualities. In the past, I found a lot of the vocals on the albums that get released on captured tracks to be mixed a little low, difficult to hear on much of the songs. My point is the vocals, though I'm not completely satisfied with where they are in the mix, the sound is completely intentional. Not gonna say it's not. And it does give craft spells a style. The whole thing kind of comes off like a mixtape of my favorite New Wave songs. And I take this cassette and I've played it a thousand times over. And then I forget about it, I throw it in some box somewhere, and then I stumble upon it like 10 years later. And then I go and I play it on the cassette deck and it sounds beautifully warped and mangled from years of being fast forwarded and rewound in a crappy boom box that I got at Radio Shack. It's just like pop music from another time, but it's wonderfully mutated into something weirder. A lot of the songwriting on this thing is pretty catchy too. Though the sound did not come out and grab me at first, the explosion of guitar, bass, and dance beats on tracks like After the Moment and From the Morning Heat just kind of kept me coming back for more again and again and again and just like giving the LP another chance, just seeing if I would come to like it more. And I did. Did, did. While there are some tracks here that do hit like a brick, a good amount of them do require a little extra attention to hear the details and even see the song for what it is. I'm loving it a little bit, feeling a light eight on this LP. Very enjoyable, very jingle jangle, very poppy. Dig on it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you loving this thing? Are you hating it? Why? Anthony Fantano. Craft Spells. I had a labor. What does Cal think of this album? Cal! Oh, uh, witchcraft is a no-no in my book. And that's why I hate Cal Chuchesta. Forever.